What's up guys? Just sitting in the car. I decided to make this video real quick. You guys like the dirty mustache I'm rocking lately? Look like a sketchy African snakes oil salesman. But that's besides the point. Let's get to the video. Okay, um, in personal development, you have to think about what is your point of diminishing returns. Now, what do I mean by the point of diminishing returns? It's a point you reach in which the amount of effort you're putting in is not proportional to the rewards you're getting out. And generally, the people that go past this point of diminishing returns for a very long time are the people that reach mastery, the people that reach their 10,000 hours and go on to do great things. But you have to think and consider, is it worth it to go past this point for many of the things, or many of the avenues that you might pursue in your personal development? A very easy example for me to um, outline for you, especially since I did that gym video lately, is the gym. Like in your first year of lifting, you can put on 10 kilograms of muscle or more. In your second year, you might put on maybe five kilograms. Third year, 2.5. Fourth year, keeps halving. Fifth year, halves. So you quickly reach a point of diminishing returns after five years, or at least naturally. You have to do something else to get bigger like steroids. So when you reach this point, is it really worth it to go as often to gym or as hard to harder gym as you did in your first year? Is it really worth it to pump up the intensity, to pump up your nutrition, to pump up everything just to get the diminishing returns? I say not. I say you still go, you still make progress, but gym is no longer your priority. You've already maxed out that area to a good standard unless you want to pursue bigger things, unless you want to be a professional bodybuilder and all that, but I don't. The same thing can be said about making money. At what point are you going to be happy? Are you going to be happy when you are making millions and millions of dollars after hustling for 30 years, sleepless nights, building a business? Or are you going to be happy when you have enough money to support your means? Maybe some holiday money, maybe some passive income streams coming in? Because the second option is a lot easier than the first. And the first one, you're going to reach points of diminishing returns where you're going to be putting in efforts, starting up business venues that don't work, reading, and appearing to get nowhere. So you have to think about that. What's another example? Another example is perhaps basketball or something like that. Like, are you going to keep playing until you're at the level of Kobe? Or are you going to keep playing just to be better than the average person, to have fun at the court with your friends? and do all that jazz. It's up to you. Another example. Are you gonna learn enough about your car just to fix it when it breaks down? Maybe change some tires, change the coolant oil, know, know some basic stuff about cars, or are you gonna be a full-scale fucking mechanical engineer and redesign the engine to make it more optimal? It's up to you. You're gonna reach points of diminishing returns and you have to really figure out if the hustle is worth it. And notice one thing, you cannot become great at everything. You might become a master at one thing or two things, but your time is limited. Your time is fleeting. So choose your battles wisely. Choose your battles wisely. What are you going to invest your time in? And what things are just going to be sufficient for you? Are you going to learn some martial arts so that you could be the next John Jones? So you could be the next... Conor McGregor in the mixed martial arts ring, or you're gonna learn some martial arts, martial arts just for some basic self-defense, so that you can perhaps fuck up any criminal that tries to mess with you or something. There's levels to everything, and the higher levels take more time. So be aware of that. Be very aware of that. Be cognizant of that, and remember that in your personal development journey, you will reach points of diminishing returns, and how you navigate them would dictate how your life will end up anyway if you like that video guys make sure you like subscribe another candid video um i haven't had time to do the nice editing that i usually do but no excuses those videos will be coming up soon just been working and real busy with the christmas break hope you guys have a good christmas break as well if a few people celebrate christmas i don't really celebrate you know Let's not get into that. Anyway, um, peace. Catch you next time.